Norman saw me and set up a meeting with Al Burton. And Norman suggested that I be Blair's cousin, which was brilliant because Blair was so um, stuck up and snooty <laughs> and she really didn't have a substance to her. And I think my character gave her heart. And I think that was the intention, was to put someone like me right up to Blair and you got to humanize Blair somehow and this will do it. And uh, it worked. It was, and it was an amazing cast to work with. Um, Lisa Wachtel and I became very, very good friends. We were even roommates for a while. And um, I remember, this is interesting because they did a dance number in the first episode Two for two, and I did this dance number with Blair. And at the time, you couldn't even get me in a disco. I hated dancing with a passion because I, I didn't want to be laughed at. I couldn't dance, I have cerebral palsy. And what do they do? They write it in the script. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, not a dance. <laughs> and so <laughs> I was so nervous about it that I couldn't do it because w what people don't understand about cerebral palsy is that in order for me to function, my brain operates on several different tracks. It's not just one track. When I'm speaking, that's one track. But what's going on in another track is don't move that hand that way. Don't walk this way. Don't move this way. So I've got this track trying to control my movements and then the track trying to perform and then the track remembering the lines. I got all three tracks. That's like bumper to bumper traffic. <laughs> and you put all that together in a dance sequence where I have lines to memorize, movements to make, and dancing, which I hated. <laughs> I was like, oh, it was almost impossible. And I knocked on Lisa's dressing room door and I felt very insecure. And I said, Lisa, I said, can you please, please help me with this dance number and go over the lines and the dance movements? And she did. She spent hours with me until I was comfortable with it. And that's how big of a heart she had. And so the fact that it aired on Christmas Eve always made it the most special episode for me, my favorite of all the episodes. And one of the lines that I said in that episode was, Questions don't hurt, ignorance does. That was a profound line that I can't take credit for. <laughs> Joel Kimmel and Ann Gibbs wrote that line. And to this day, people remember that one line. It was a brilliant line. Um, I was told that it was the highest Nielsen ratings that Fact of Life had ever gotten at that point. Um, people were stunned, they were tuned in. Uh, I immediately was asked back the following season. Um, and it was a dream come true. Truthfully, um, the jokes part of that episode where I told jokes before I did the dance member. <laughs> I wrote all those jokes. Those jokes were mine from the comedy store that I just incorporated into the script. So that's about the... And basically I was just playing me. It wasn't, it wasn't a huge role to take on. I was just being Jerry. I, I didn't feel that there was this whole other character that I really had to get into. 
And I, I am a trained method actress, so I do know how to do that. Um, so, to me, it was just a glorified Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs>